Christ the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me for the reading of the Word. We will be reading Psalm 34 in a moment. It is October 13th, 2023. This will be day seven after Israel being attacked by Hamas. And um, in the headlines, of course, today is 1.1 million people to evacuate Gaza before Israel goes in. So it is very much a terrible time for Israel, for the uh, Palestinian civilians. And it's going to be a terrible time for the people that did the murderous acts. I am sure we pray God's will in this situation about everything. We pray for little children everywhere who haven't gotten to make these decisions about what they will do. They are simply at the mercy of where they have been born. So please pray and cover these situations. Also, it is Friday the 13th. I'm not superstitious about that, but um, there is a Muslim leader that has called for a day of jihad today, so um, by the time this post, that'll be after the fact for many of you that we need to be mindful that we are in these times going forward, not just today, but in the days ahead that um, this group of people that has come against Israel so much, very much hates Americans as well. And uh, we have quite a population of Jewish people in America. So we need to realize that we are in days of peril. We have a God that is with us that will protect us and keep us. He doesn't want us to be anxious for anything. He doesn't want us to walk around in fear. He wants us to trust. And the psalm we're reading today, Psalm 34, is praise and trust. Let's read it, and then we will pray a moment. Psalm 34, a psalm of David, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, who drove him away. And he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Well, we know in the Old Testament that the Lord had host of angels encamped about Israel when they would go to war and uh, we believe for that now that he will deliver them out of all their troubles but we know in the last days there are days called Jacob's trouble there is a great shaking that comes to Israel and uh, we see the terrible things that have occurred and uh, the pain and the sorrow going through that land at this time. Verse 8, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, you children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. 
Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. If the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, not if. Let me redo verse 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. So we're in a time where you need to humble yourself before the Lord. You need to confess your sins and get right with the God of creation. Verse 19, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Let's read those last two again. Verse 21 and 22. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Praise God. There's somebody that shall be desolate. There's somebody that shall not be desolate. The wicked shall be desolate. The righteous, the ones that trust in the Lord God Almighty, shall not be desolate. Praise God. Praise God. Heavenly Father, we just love you so much. We thank you for the promises of the word of God that are yea and amen to your servants. We thank you for your protection. We do humble ourselves before you, Lord. We know that we have had sin in our lives. We have done wickedly in this life. And we turn to you. We want to walk a righteous path with you, Father. We thank you for mercy that has been shown to us. We pray for mercy to those that will truly turn to you, Father. We know that you are a long-suffering and merciful God, but we know that you are a righteous God who will invoke judgment at this time on the wicked, the wicked that would not turn, the wicked that serve evil and have no desire to turn, and they are destructive against your people. Father, we just lift up all the people of God. We lift up your covenant people. And we just pray your protection. And we pray your ministry of peace to their hearts and lives at this time. That they will have a deep trust and confidence in you, Lord. For those that have had to witness and endure traumatic and terrible things, we just pray Your healing oil to go over their mind, their spirit. Help them, Jesus, at this time. War is a terrible thing, Father. It's a terrible thing on both sides. Please, please help us to know what to do, where to stand, how to stand with you. During these times, we do pray over America. We pray over uh, Jewish people everywhere this day, Lord. We pray over Christians this day. We pray for protection and provision for all that serve you, Lord. We see in your word we have that. We just acknowledge that you are our caregiver. And you do take care of your people very well, Lord. We are not subject to worldly economies. We are in the kingdom of God. And your economy will never fail. And uh, we know we have that provision from you. We do pray for those that are having to move around that are not in their homes. 
<coughs> that feel very frightened, Father. We pray that you're with them. We pray for people to serve a God of love and to know and experience that love that changes them forever. We thank you for this salvation. We know that as Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again of water and of spirit. We must recognize that Jesus is the Jewish Messiah and that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the Son of God. No one comes to the Father except through the Son. We pray for that revelation for those that have been raised in uh, idolatry or false religions, Lord. They need you to visit their hearts. They need to see you in a dream, in a vision, your word spoken to them. And we know that you are speaking to many today. It's their choice to turn to you or not. But we pray they will turn, that they will be saved. Taste and see that the Lord is good. There is no one like our Lord. Father, we need help and we need deliverance down here. Help us. Help us, Lord. Thank you for your word, for these precious psalms. Thank you that we can see so many experiences and judgments through David, what he experienced in life and how he turned to you. And he did humble himself. He did confess his sins after denying doing that for a while. But uh, it's time for us, we know, to confess our sins, to humble ourselves. It's time to humble our souls with prayer and fasting and much to pray for today. We pray for the people of the world. We know your word says that you will be exalted among the heathen. And we believe we are in a time where we will see your name exalted above every name. Praise the Lord God Almighty. I love you, Lord. I pray for my brothers and sisters in the Lord. I pray for those that visit this channel. That you strengthen them and give them good courage and have strengthen our confidence in you, Lord. We do have confidence in you. As we read this word, our confidence is built. We pray for provision for each one, and we pray for those that may stop by this channel that have not given their heart to you, that you will prick their heart of your truth, that they will bow their knee and call on the name of Jesus, that they may be saved. In Jesus' name we pray and ask. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, Acts 2.38, if you need to give your heart to the Lord, today is the day of salvation. There are many things that could happen in a day. We've seen a many souls that were just going about their daily life, enjoying their life, and everything changed for them and their families with brutal attacks. And uh, we are just in a time now of war. War is not pretty. There is collateral damage. Innocent people, I say innocent people, people that don't want this kind of war, that would not do the kind of evil that has been done, that just because they are in the wrong place at the wrong time, their souls will go out. They will, we will see collateral damage is what it is called. There will be innocent people killed. So have your souls ready. We don't know what will happen in America, but America is not exempt from judgment. We have done wrong in America. Leaderships have promoted the wrong thing. It has not been pleasing to the Lord. So... Turn, do the right thing. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If we humble ourselves and pray and seek his face, turn from our wickedness, he will hear from heaven and he will heal our land. 